so exclusive, exclusive, Maddie Gilbank says she felt fat and self-conscious while on Love Island Australia I just felt so fat compared to them. Love Island Australia 2022's Maddie Gilbanks has revealed how she struggled with feeling fat and experiencing body dysmorphia while comparing herself to other girls in the villa. Speaking to So Dramatic, the 26-year-old explained that she struggled with self-esteem while walking around in a bikini all day. Maddie recalled that none of the boys described her as their ideal type when she arrived as a bomb and the repeated criticism impacted her confidence. I just felt so fat compared to the other petite, skinny girls, Maddie explained. Every time I would introduce myself to a guy, they would say that their type is petite, skinny and brunette, and I was like, okay, that's everything that I am not great. And there are only so many times you can keep taking the criticism before it does take a bit of a blow to the ego. She continued, so after the first few days, I was just like, okay, great. I feel like shit. It's really hard to keep putting yourself out there and being your best most confident self when you feel like you're the ugly duckling of the group. Maddie explained that she became more aware of how her body looked because she was one of the larger women there. My stomach was so sore from sucking it in all day, every day, she confessed. But looking back at the final cut of Love Island Australia 2022, Maddie questioned whether she had been experiencing body dysmorphia. Looking back on it now, I'm just like, oh my god, why was I so mean to myself in that environment? I should not have been like that. I didn't deserve to treat myself like that in that situation, Maddie said. And no, girl, you did not. The reality star then said that she's now thankfully come to realize her self-worth and has learned not to be so critical of herself. I know that now because looking back, I'm like, you're so hot. I am so hot. Why did I waste so much time being insecure? It was honestly, not a good move by me, she admitted. I think when I feel uncomfortable or I'm doing something new, my default is to second-guess myself and second-guess my worth. Want even more goss? Listen to episode 233 of the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Pustetto below. Know something that we don't? Spill the tea here. Get the tea first. Follow So Dramatic on Instagram and tune in on Tuesday to get your reality tea fix with the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Pustetto. Jess Houston, December 5, 2022.